Welcome back to the Rim World Zombie Challenge. Alright, so uh, I messed up with my microphone again and we've missed an episode, but we will continue from where we are. We've managed to get a new colonist, C. Um, we've dealt with a couple of zombies, we even dealt with a poison ship. Things are otherwise continuing apace, and Andy is finally free of his addiction and no longer pissed off at everything. Yay, Andy. It's about time, buddy. I will see if I can get you an eye, though. You are, well, let's see, hot. That. Why is that? 97 out. Well, yeah, you're outside a lot at 97 degrees. That would get warm. Uh, Soranil, I will get you a new room as soon as I can. I do need to tear that down. I'm going to do this. Put that in. See, what are you doing there? Go in here, undraft, and this, um... You know what, we're going to uninstall this. Just so people can't sleep here right now. That's better. And let's get more... Actually, no, I don't want that to be a wooden door. Uh, I don't have granite. I don't have marble, so sandstone it is. Alright. I'm trying to set up a new prison here. I'm not sure the doors will work. I'm not sure if the prisoners will be able to open them. Um, if not, it's really going to suck for them. But I'm trying to give the prisoners the opportunity to have separate rooms and a common area. But I don't want to give them a lot of space. They don't deserve it. They're prisoners. They attacked me. They're lucky to be alive. Especially the way my people shoot. Right. Let's get... Good, good, Sleepy is hauling. We have very few people hauling or crafting anymore. Or hauling or cleaning. We have two people who can clean. Ugh, this, this lack of dumb labor is really irritating. Even an actor in a game dev should know how to clean up after their own asses. And now we've got two actors. Not one, two. Thankfully, I've got a janitor. Sorry, Sleepy, I really wish it were better for you. Hey, we finally got this done. Let's put in these walls. And then, for the floors, we're just going to drop sandstone tile floors down. And that's set to keep the place at 90 degrees. Or 70 degrees, not 90. <laughs> it's 90 outside. Our people are doing well. The project is coming along. And very soon we will start moving the beds into this new prison zone. And we'll see how it goes. If poor Soranel can't get out, then, well, poor Soranel. thing we want to give them. Actually, there are two other things we want to give them. A table. 
Uh, there's not enough room if I do that. Let's deconstruct some things. Make sure that it is roofed. Good. And if I end up not needing this, I don't know. Maybe I can turn it into something else that might be useful. All right, last bit of furniture that these schmucks need is a dining table. And that's everything that they need. That is everything our prisoners could possibly need. Zombies headed to the colony. Let's find out where. Right, nobody's in immediate danger. That's good. Alright, let's make sure that everyone who can shoot. You can't. You can, you can, good. Yeah, I know you can. No, you can. Alright, everybody up. Everybody out. Actually, let's go here for the moment. Grub. You. 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 And Noble. My people have been hit a lot by friendly fire, which is sad. That is why I built the bunker. All of my people got in here. Even when the zombies had gotten through, they were still shooting. <sighs> Alright. Let's see if any of them... Yep, three left. Okay. You two are free to go. Andy, you're going to be pissy, so you're free to go. Oh, nope. Free to go. You three, come with me. Good job, guys. Now, I need to put in another sandstone door here. And I've realized that needs to be sandstone. That needs to be sandstone.
Okay, I'm gonna have to have one prisoner bed that is not actually in one of the cells. But that should still solve the problem. Hey, squirrel self-tamed. Sleepy, I really, really need you to prioritize holding sandstone. Take Soren out. Put him in bed. Excellent. Let's see if this works. The question is, will our people be happier? Will the prisoners be happier in this new area? It's more comfortable. It's cleaner. Well, it will be cleaner once Sleepy actually gets around to cleaning and hauling. But, you know, she's got to deal with those corpses first. And I'm fine with her dealing with the corpses. There's no expand storage zone. And I can expand allowed areas, snow clearing, I can delete, but I can't just expand a zone. I don't really need to cook at the moment, but I'm going to, just to cover my bases. Andy, why are you in this environment? Yeah, I know, we need to clean it. Could be worse, buddy. Could be far, far worse. Sorinel, you're hungry, you're in an ugly environment, you're imprisoned in a little bit of pain and wearing worn out apparel. Yeah, you have a permanent brain injury. That's uh, wonderful. I wonder what that permanent brain injury does. Pain. It looks like it's just pain.
more joy for my people. It always helps. Or at least it can't hurt. Especially since I've been managing to run myself out of spare stone. We're going to turn off that. So maybe she will do something else. Gargapods, what do we get? Ooh, Nutrambi. I can be used to make better medicine. Mm -hmm. Andy, get it done. Oh yeah, Sorinil joins. Okay, we gotta figure out what he's gonna do. Um, he's not a knight person, so we can just copy-paste. Let's see what he's good at. You know, it's sad, he's pretty good at... He's, he's good at pretty much everything we need. But this is where I'm happiest. Right here. These two. Sarnil, that's your job. <laughs> you will be a plant grower and cutter second. And then you will have all of these at our normal. Because we're training everyone to be doctors. Wow, you've got animal handling. You're going to have that, too. There you go, Sornil. You have a job. And you should have a bed. Two, four, six, seven. Oh, you don't have... Ha! Seven! Perfect! You do have a bed. <laughs> Alright, let's deconstruct those. Actually, you know what? Let's not deconstruct those. We are just going to open that up, and you know what? We we're just going to carve out the whole damn thing, and then we'll build rooms as we go. Are you slow, buddy? volatile, but you're not slow. Well, I mean, you've been shot in the brain, but other than being shot in the brain, you aren't slow. You are going to get a gun, though. So we're going to give you a shoddy rifle. Zombies. Normal. And it's at just the perfect time to make my people not happy.
no, this is bad. Okay, Sorinil. You're free. Um, Noble. That's not been moved, so that door won't freaking close. Um... Over here. Sornel, I need you up here. That one was worrisome. Uh, sleepy. Darling, I need you to move that wood. Thank you. Sorry, no, what do you need? Very tired, very ugly, very cold. Joy deprived, hungry, insulted. Well, a lot of this... See, a lot of that will go away as soon as you become a normal part of the community. No, well, how do you not have anything to do? Oh. Because we don't have you making clothes. No, we do have me making clothes. No, well, you are doing something good. Why do you not have a bed? No, well, sigh. Sornel, Sornel, why did you... You just fell down tired, buddy. No, but what are you, what are you doing? Why are you... Okay, Noble, I will let you research. Because I have no one else doing it. I'd really rather have you making clothes. But you just won't willingly do it. And it's not like we don't have the clothes binge here, and active, and we're out of cloth. I've turned off sewing here, but sewing here is on. Yeah. I just don't want to take a chance of this falling in if they don't carve it out right. Because it is wide enough that without proper support, it will collapse. Okay, you need beauty, joy, and comfort food. Man, you are... All of that is the brain damage. That's what all of this is, is his brain damage. Good, good. You're getting some joy. Awesome. You know what, Sornil? I am going to keep you inside. You're not a hauler. You're a cleaner. Yeah, you go ahead and relax socially, buddy. I'm okay with that. Agatha, what do you need? Why are you awake? Thank you. Ugh, Agatha is sometimes very, very neat. Yeah, 
Sorino, Sorino will work. And then you know what? He is so slow. I'm going to put the guy on tailoring. And smithing and crafting. And just let him do little things around the house. No. No, no, no. You prioritize manning over here. Sorry, no, seriously, there's enough to clean, bud. You don't need to make clothes. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you wear. I'm gonna let you make pants. You know. Man, I gotta reassign Sorinella a closer bed. At least he's so slow that he can't really hurt anybody. Go ahead and rest, Sorna. Just go ahead and rest. Squirrel is being attacked by Timberwolf. Oh no. Squirrel I don't give a shit about is being attacked by Timberwolf. I would rather have as a pet. Yeah. Not concerned about Squirrel. Yeah, we're getting there. He's improving. Perfectly happy having a sword no clean. Seriously, you two. What, what are you doing? Carving a maze? You know, I don't know, I know I don't have wood, but I've got all of this wood car harvested, cut down, ready to go. My people just will not go get it. Then again, the Sleepy's been kind of busy. She's had so many bodies to haul. Seriously, so many bodies. We're going to have to expand that dump soon. Yep, that'll do. That's our body zone. Okay, they're coming from the north.
So Arnold, you just keep working, buddy. It's okay. You just keep working. So hi, what are you doing? You're going for timber. Probably don't need four, but you know what? I'm doing it. That one got close. That one got a little too close for comfort. You know, I really wish they'd pull the 600 silver in. fix that too. Oh well. It was a good enough spot to stop. The colony's doing well. We have no prisoners. Our fortifications have held against repeated raids. Uh, they did break the door once, but we managed to deal with that. Otherwise, we're doing well. Expanding, adding more bedrooms, finishing up our storage area. We've got plenty of food, so yeah, we're doing well. So we'll call it here, and until next time. Happy gaming, and good luck on the rim.